Okay, so my next block to organize is my H9 block, and again, I've got it labeled as the EPP modified block. So I will go into my row booklet and find my H9. Occasionally, you'll see this beware of directional pieces, and I believe that in this case, it is referring to the rhombuses because there is there can be a right hand left hand depending on how you put your fabric because if I put this here it's gonna look opposite of what it should so just when you're looking at your fabric this is why labeling matters so I will pro I'll put an arrow to whatever point goes to the outside or the inside whatever I'm gonna label it I'm gonna label it the same on this paper all right, so I found all the middle bits of the pie pieces, and again, I've run into the same issue. I've got a very small discrepancy between this triangle and this triangle. So I'm going to look here and see where this lines up, and it lines up just about perfectly. And this one, to see which one it is, this one is, sh is short enough to say, nope, that's not the right one. So I've got four of these and I'm going to set these aside, and I've also got four of these. So I'm going to commit to making these my corner triangles. And to confirm which triangle needs to be it, I will line this up exactly on the edge of this. So this is an exact straight line, as if it was the same piece of paper. And then while holding it, I will get this other piece to see if it's and this is not exactly easy but as you can tell if it was any smaller it would not be the right piece so this is indeed the right triangle so that when I join these up it they all fit alright so I've got all these and these are my center trap or my center rhombuses and I will label all of these and then I will move them after I figure out which ones are focus fabrics and which ones are I'll label these too but I will put an arrow I'll line them up on the drawings that are underneath here to make sure that I get them correctly um, aligned because what I want to do is I want to be able to take my pieces out of my baggie and sit at a table or an ironing board or whatever and just connect my pieces without having to refer back to the book again and duplicate my effort. Okay, so I got all the pieces of my H9 block labeled. I'm going to refer back to the Dear Jane book and see that I need every other pie piece and every diamond to be my focus fabric. So I will put dots on those. And since I have a directional fabric, I will also put arrows. And in this case, I want I prefer to have my fabric radiating out. So I'm going to have this one, this one, this one, and this one be my focus fabric and of course every one of these. And then I'm going to take my ink pen and I'm going to start from the middle and push pull out so that when I line up my fabric when I line up my piece on my fabric to cut it out, I'm going to make sure that all of these are lined up the same way. And then for these, I can move these because I'm done labeling them now. So for these, every one of these, I'm going to do the same exact thing. So this is going to be my middle. I'm going to do the same thing. And just because I don't know when I'm going to get to this block, I'm going to remind myself by putting the exact same mark in these bits. And then I have a reference graph. And I'm going to bag up my H9 block with my H9 fabric and move on to the H10 block. Now we're going to get started on my H10 block. Now we had 16 triangles that were smaller sized and we referred back to this H10 block to see that they were really for this one because there was a size consideration. So we already have all of these sorted out. 
So I'll get these around. And then there's the rectangles. And then the center triangles, which we already have that we compared to the last block. Because the last block had some larger triangles as well that were very close in size. And those checked out to be these as well. So then there's some squares and the rectangles. So we're going to lay these all out as we did with the other blocks. As with before, I'm going to label each piece with H10. And this is my focus fabric, so I won't need to label it for directional stuff. All right, so I'm going to label my focus fabric. And I've got these two squares. And then I have this triangle and this triangle. And then these guys. Whoops, I missed a couple. I will go back and do them. There we go. And then once I've got these two labeled, I will be able to put them in my baggie and move on to H11. All right, so H11 is also in, works with from the book. This is my fabric. This is gonna be a fussy cut directional fabric. And so then I'm gonna take um, the triangle pieces that have two sides the same and one in the bottom. These are going to be all of these types uh, that I have in my thing. And then I also have four of these side pieces that look like this. And that's going to go around each corner, or on each side, excuse me. And then you also have four of the bigger versions, or what I would like to probably call more elongated. So those are going to go in here. And... Yeah, okay, so occasionally when you're working from the book, things are not lined up exactly with the papers. This is close, but see, a couple of the angles are off just a bit. The important thing is that they end up to be the right size at the end, and they match up with each other. So if I take this away and work from this one spot, so if I line this up here, you've got a difference of angle. And then if I take this one here, it, it matches up with this, but it's a little off. But like I said, as long as it all works out together, then you're, then you're good. The translation between the math of the book and the math of the paper pieces sometimes is a little off but like I said it all works out at the end so I will sit here and lay this out and make sure that it matches up with each other as I go all right so I got all of my H11 pieces out but I wanted to show you that this is you know it is off to the drawing but not to each itself so it'll work out just fine so H11 and then you've got all of the labeling of the the center thing. And this one I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna put my little arrows on this one as well. Okay, so I got my pieces labeled and I'm just gonna mark my focus fabrics. And I can approach this with my directional fabric, I can approach this a couple different ways. I can make it all go in one direction or I could, because we've got a, a circular center, I could work like I normally do with ones with circular centers, is I will work in a radiating pattern. And of course, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but the decision also comes from the outside. So I've got my little arrows that I'm gonna put on here from the middle. But then what do I do with this? And with this, I'm I can either make these go however, but I'm actually gonna do this and make them radiate out from the middle based on where my fussy cutting is. So we'll see how the pieces will fit on the fabric itself when I go to prep my block. And so then now that I've got this labeled, I'm going to label this with the same arrows 
so I remember how I did it. Because again, I don't know exactly how long it's going to take me to get to these get to these blocks. So these go like so. And then we are on once I baggy this, we are on to H12. Now, the H12 block is a lot easier. We have the last single bit is our or the last large block piece is for H12, and that is going to be for background, so I don't need to label it with a red dot. And then we have four hearts. Now these are going to be a little different shape than what's on here. And so what I'm going to do is I will, when I go to applique them, I will make them touch like they are in the picture. So I will applique them then. I'll find the middle of my, of my um, square. I'll find the middle. And um, then I will put these, we'll cover that in block assembly. So I will label these. And I do not have a directional fabric for H12, so I don't need to worry about any arrows. And this, because this is my fabric for H12. And I will put little dots on these. And that will be the end of my bag sort for H12. And I have seven pieces left in my bag sort, which I have two half things and a full thing and four triangles, which means it's all for H13. And it's really nice to have some blocks with, with large pieces because then they go faster in assembly and with sorting and with prepping. So I will put these, there's no special trick to these. And then I will check my, my fabric, which I already know is not directional. So all I got to do is label it. This is my fabric, so it's a non-directional fabric. So all I got to do is label it with my H13 and my red dots. And then I am done with the H7 to H13 bag sort.